Welcome back, fishy friends, to the second episode of Tuna Time. Yeah! A multi-part YouTube extravaganza. Yeah! Brought to you by me, Ian Reed, and my co-host, John Musso. I'm John Musso. Hi, everybody. Welcome back! It's been a while. It really has been. We're excited to get back into the hot seat and uh, eat some fish for you guys here today. We do not have tuna on the plate. That is true. No tuna. No tuna. We're branching out a little bit just, on tuna just, time. Just a little bit. Not too, not too much. A little bit. We're eating crab meat today. <laughs> and it has come to my realization that John Musso does not know how to open a can with a can opener. It's true. So we're going to have an instructional <laughs> lesson, a demonstration, if you may. An right audio for John only Musso. Audio only. So... Uh, it's going to be very uh, descriptive. Very helpful. Of course. So I'm going to close my eyes, too. You're going to close your eyes. Okay. This, so. this will help. So first, what we're going to... Yeah, well, closing your eyes doesn't really help you because this is supposed to be... I know. How does the audience feel? I don't know. <laughs> too bad they're not here right now, right? No. So too bad, too we're bad. going to pick up the thingy, right? This. And we're going to open the what? it. The thi- This. Oh. The thingy. And we're going to grab our can we're gonna clamp it like so clamp like so and twist once it's clamped on nice and good until it has traversed around the entire circumference of it so once we've opened this a lot of work. I know, right? I'm really getting an exercise in here. It's working that can. Turn, turn, I'm certainly turn. doing my best. <laughs> yeah. Well. Ooh. So once, ah! Yeah, once we do that. Oh, crap. There's leaking. juices. Knew, For the audience, who knew at home crab would be so that, juicy? They can't hear. I mean, I can't see. We just <laughs> Ian broke the seal of the can, and promptly, ugh, the crab juice is leaked out all over the table. Uh, uh, it looks fine. like. Uh, let's get, let's get a scent profile in here real quick. Scent, yeah, yeah. Profile. Oh, it's jiggling around in there in this gross layer of juices. G- give it that smell. Give it that smell. <laughs> it's not that bad. It smells like a pleasant day to like the Boston Marina. I don't know what that means. Don't do that. <laughs> Down to the ocean. We talked about this. It, it sounds like the ocean. Oh it, it's gosh. a lot more, uh, you know, gelatin-like than I thought it would. Well, be. I was expecting it to look like the tuna salad, which yeah, was me a salad, too. and this is not a salad. So it's, uh, it looks like it looks hairy. No, it, it looks doesn't. like hairy liquid. Hairy liquid? Where yeah, are you getting you that from? Look at the sides. That is so unappetizing. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. It looks hairy. <laughs> Should we drain it? Nah, we're not going to drain Juices it. Juices and everything. So today, Juices or nothing, people. Yeah, that's right. That's where the that's where the flavor comes from. We want the <laughs> full experience of the hairy crab juice. <laughs> <laughs> so today. To eat this crab with, we have pita crackers. Townhouse brand uh, pita. Pita crackers. So, hopefully we're able to really... Here you go. Help, oh, help yourself. Thank you. The bag's wet. No, it's not. Uh, well, <laughs> I, may, I may have said it. Oh, crap. Oh, the crab juice. Our wires are in the crab juice. <laughs> Well, isn't that just yummy? So, hopefully these can add a bit of flavor to it. Let's... <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, it's like... So you're just going to dip it in the crab? No, no. I'm going to get, like, a healthy covering. But I'm pretty sure we're supposed to drain this. <laughs> Maybe we should pause the video. Ugh. Nah, this will be fine. Goodness so gracious. So we have our pita crackers, and we also have uh, an assortment of hot sauces here today. <laughs> multiple of which... Contain some very spicy peppers, which I am going to now apply to my crab-covered, disgusting cracker. What should I do, John? This is bumblebee brand crab meat. John, I want you to choose a sauce for me. 
All right. Uh, how about we've got Dave's Ghost Pepper Gourmet. No, Dave's Gourmet Ghost Pepper. Habanero Heaven. Ghost Pepper and Blueberry. We have Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And Baron's Blaze. Yeah. This one's more like a, a barbecue. What? Uh, Baron's Blaze? Yeah. And the Frank's Red Hot is going to be pretty mild. I'm going to have to go with Habanero Heaven. Let's do it. How's that? No, let's do Dave's Gourmet. Do that. Yeah. On I've, your... been, I've hardly... I'm definitely going to do some of... This, this one's the hottest one here, I believe. Let's get a scent of this. How's that scent profile? It makes my mouth, uh, yeah. <laughs> it makes my uh, my eyes dry out and shrivel up. So does it make you salivate? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a healthy dab on top of my crab meat. <laughs> crab meat. The wet you know. crab meat. Oh wait. All right. Yeah, you, you want to do that one as well, right? Ah. Uh... I think I'll regret it. I've got freaking crab crap all <laughs> over this table. I'm going to soak it up with some sheet music. All right, I'm applying the hot sauce to my crab meat on my cracker. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Uh, I'm, uh, ooh. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Dude, gonna... that's way too much. Oh, oh. Uh, no, no. You got a lot on yours. Do I need another cracker? Uh, oh, if you want to go for like a sandwich effect. We're making a sandwich. I have a lot. I have more meat than you two. <laughs> yeah, because I'm too scared. <laughs> oh, <All right>. crap. <laughs> it's dripping everywhere. Here, wait, push that thing over here. Push the... Eh, I gotta wring it out. Okay, Ian No, is... it went into my mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Ian is letting the crab juice from his cracker drip into the can of crab meat. But in the process of doing so, he's let it drip into his milk. Which, which... he's drinking out of a wine glass. Hey, I'm fancy like that, okay? All right, mine's dripping. We All gotta right. eat this quick. Dink. We just dinked our uh, crackers. Let's go. I'm scared. Oh, oh you're so weak. <laughs> you didn't even put it in your mouth. I touched it to my tongue. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Don't make me go through this alone. Put it in your mouth, John. <laughs> For those of you listening, John put um, probably uh, how I'd estimate a full teaspoon of hot sauce <laughs> on his crab meat. He is currently gone red in the face and is whining to an extreme amount. I'm going to have to say it, John. I didn't really get any of that crab meat in there. That hot sauce was so overwhelming. That it just totally overrode any crab that I would have had. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, I don't think I can eat any crab meat. I don't think I'll taste it. Did you get any taste other than hot sauce from that? Nope. Nope, I didn't think so. Here, I'm going in for just the crab. All right, tell me how it goes. Oh. I'm a pioneer. Mmm. His eyes are closed. Very salty. Mmm. I'm getting hints of crab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It tastes like seafood. That, that's my best description of this. How informative. With the hot sauce, I'd say it wasn't that bad. It's not really that bad a snack anyways. If you like seafood. Oh, God. <laughs> the hot sauce um, re reappeared in my throat. <laughs> it hasn't left mine. Oh my gosh. Put down some of your water, yeah. Try to get rid of it. So, John, are you on break from school right now? That's right. Yeah, how's that going so far? It's, uh, well, it was uh, pretty good until now. <laughs> <laughs> uh,. Now, I can't talk right now. Uh, Ian, you got you just got back from Canada, as I understand it. That's right. Tell yep. us about that. Well, it was a great experience. I got to go up there with my dad to celebrate yeah. my 18th birthday. Oh, yeah. That's great. And if you know anything, so I went up to Quebec, 
specifically uh, Quebec City. <laughs> um, and if you know anything about Quebec City, no. you know that their drinking age is 18. <laughs> John. Yeah? Are you okay? 18. Eat wow. another cracker. Yeah. Mm. There you go, buddy. Yeah, so I got my first experience with alcohol, which I had to say was quite informative. <laughs> oh, the hot sauce has got me. My nose all runny. <laughs> my eyes are yeah. leaking with juices. Mm. Oh. I'm not crying. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Crab juices. Mm. Mm. No. <laughs> so, when I was up in the Quebec City area, uh, I got to um, take a visit to uh, re- uh, one of their most historic landmarks, which is the the Citadel up there. And it's actually really interesting. Um, it's been a big part of their history uh, for a while. Yeah. It's, it's a lot like our Fort Knox here, where it was built, but it never actually saw any combat. Oh. But it's still been a big part of their history nonetheless. They, sure. Yeah, they've got a... And I don't know if you know this, but Canada for the longest time, was under British rule. So there's statues of Winston Churchill everywhere, which is pretty interesting. And they have British uh, crest as a part of their insignia, as well as the the French lilies, since the French settled the area. Um, but I have to say the most... Uh, <laughs> John, he's, he's making funny faces at me. He's thro- throwing me off my game. The most interesting part of the the Citadel for me was mm. their mascot, which is uh, a goat. Wow! And they have the the first goat was given to them by Queen Elizabeth. Really? And, yeah. She just gave them a goat. Yeah. She just, well, she gave she gave all the um, all the cities and all the military fortresses a goat, a royal goat from that family, and they've raised the goats ever since. And this goat that's currently there is the the 14th generation from the original goat wow and i uh they also have the the stuffed body of the fourth one yeah <laughs> hey i'm better now hey how about I that i finally recovered from that from the dave's gourmet ghost pepper hot sauce that was pretty good you i might go in for right, another one you should no. drink some right from the bottle <laughs> i don't think i will i'll do it ian what you think of the the crab meat you know i thought it was pretty good it was definitely fishy. Yeah. And when I say fishy, I mean mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Very mysterious. I'm not sure what that was, but uh, it was, it was uh, I think we ought to try it again. What do you think? I already tried it again. In you the, did? In the wake of your misery, you weren't paying attention. Oh, I couldn't see. Yeah, I got in. <laughs> you couldn't see. Well, maybe because you took your glasses off. I'm applying some crab meat to my cracker a very delicate amount i'm allowing the juices to drain. you just lost all of it oh, into the we'll it murky on. water of crab <laughs> the murky water of crab juice oh you gotta boy. use your finger to i don't want to use my finger it's just crab meat yeah man. but it's cold and mushy yeah so what that is some squishy fishy all right going down the hatch <laughs> john musso signing off <laughs> open the hatch between the gums look out stomach here, here it comes, comes. oh <laughs> How is it? Do you like it? Is it as yummy as you anticipated? Is it ju- as juicy as it's you It's actually good. Yeah. For sure. Feel bad for judging it so harshly. That's good. I like it. Yeah. It it is it is definitely good. It's a snack that I consider trying again. Oh yeah. Uh and I've had have you ever I really like crab in, uh, like, more of a crab salad form. Yeah. You know, you know what they put in, like, crab rolls and no, stuff? No, I have no idea. It's, it's pretty tasty. I've yeah. had imitation crab meat in a California sushi roll. Hey, well, now you have real crab meat, too, in a, oh. out of a can. Wow. It's very good. All right, everybody. Wow, what time do we have? Uh, we're at... 14.30. 14.30? All right, everybody. It's been a great experience. Thanks for... Embarking on this uh, journey of taste. Thanks for laughing with us. Thanks for listening with us. And crying with us. Especially with John. That was painful. All right, John and Ian, signing off. Thanks for listening. Till next time.